Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to PvP an Empire Clash, and how to get a lot of kills, and overall, how to be a good Empire Clash PvPer. To PvP, it's quite simple. All you need to do is take out your weapon of choice, left click to attack, right click to block, and F to kick. However, you need to combine them in a way where you can beat your opponent. We're going to engage an opponent to demonstrate to you how you can do such a thing. So, PvP will be focused around capture points like flags. You're going to want to stay close to them, to cap them, but in this case, we have no one close to them, so we're going to push up. It seems that they are retreating to Watermill, so we're going to have to go to Watermill before I can show you guys how to PvP. See, this is something that this guy's doing wrong. This monarch is really bad at PvP. When they're blocking, you need to stun them so they get rid of that block. And there, I got him. If he has guns and armor, you want to arrest. I mean, kill. If he doesn't have guns and armor, you want to arrest. So that's basically how you do it. You just need to learn how to combo. So, you need to attack by left clicking. Block by right clicking. And press F to break their block and stun them on the on mobile it's the same thing it's just you need to press the buttons respectively talk about muskets muskets in this game are fairly broken but they can still be useful you can buy a musket at the firearm store and get a musket there but there are none so we're gonna go to the bank and hopefully I have some in my bank if obviously I had a musket in my bank so that's why it's always good to keep them on you and also Make sure you get armor for PvP because it increases your d defense and makes you take less damage. The higher armor you have, the more defense you have against melee attacks. And after you get past iron, you start getting firearm resistance, which is really good. So for, for a classic infantry musket attack, I suggest pressing X to switch between the, gut, the shooting mode and the me melee mode. Because the melee mode is also really good, since it has a long range. Fun fact, to cap points faster, you can enact the Offensive Doctrine, which, which can be done by going to Politics, View Edicts, and go to Offensive Doctrine. Now we are going to go and fight. We have no one to fight, so we're going to have to find someone. But there, right when I said that, I found... A janitor, I think that is, and a footman. So, it's the engaging phase. This is usually when the muskets are shot, but once you miss your shot, that's when it switches to the melee combat phase. So, you want to make sure stamina doesn't go too low. And there, that's how you get them. You just need to make sure stamina keeps controlled, and make sure you don't get health, take health hits. Your stamina is very vital, as you can see, because once you run out of stamina and the enemy blocks for too long, you will, if you block, if the enemy blocks and you hit at them, you will lose a lot of stamina and you will no longer be able to block yourself or defend yourself, meaning that the enemy can essentially just kill you, which is why you need to make sure your stamina, your stamina is almost more important than your health. And some, something else to note is that in this game, muskets are kind of broken because they have they don't really shoot that well because like the middle range is kind of broken and if you put it right next to something the bullet actually spawns a few studs away so you cannot do a direct headshot if the gun's right next to someone's head instead you have to back up a bit and actually get the musket aligned right let's say you want that box was a person you would have got a headshot there so for example look but this merchant, there, that's how you get a headshot on merchants, or anyone. You just need to line up the gun. You want to hold until this reticle becomes smaller and smaller until it gets a minimum size. And once that happens, that's when you shoot. If you shoot too early, you will have a very low chance of hitting your shot. Um, muskets aren't that good in this game. Bigger rifles are kind of better, but still not that great. 
So I would recommend using a custom crosshair. You can find those anywhere on whatever device you're on, in the app store or something. So to summarize, Stanima is key. You must use your Stanima wisely. If you lose too much Stanima, you will die. Stanima is very important. Make sure not to attack respawning players like I did, because when you attack respawning players, for some reason this game lets them respawn for too long, even though they're already in. The game is broken. So not attack respawning players. Make sure your stamina is fine. Make sure your health is fine. When in close quarters, use your musket and press X to use it. And make sure you get armor to be stronger. And press F to block blocks. Press right click to block and press left click to attack. And that's basically the combat guide. And you can use offensive doctrine to cap stuff faster.